There are 19 total achievements for Madden 22 Next Gen, and today I'm gonna complete them all in one video. Our first achievement is Prime Time, which is to gain over 50 total yards while using Celebration Loco over the course of a single game. So let's immediately start racking up these yards. Hold on the left trigger. Trigger, we're just gonna run. I think my best bet here is just to bomb deep and then just celebrate the rest of the way. So we've already got like 20 yards. Please don't fumble. That's another probably 10 yards for us. We just got an achievement. Prime time, we got it already. There are several in franchise. There are several that involve online play. Gamer score used to be a massive flex. Some games you could even unlock rewards that otherwise couldn't be gotten by completing several achievements. This may sound easy. Of course, there are guides on the internet to complete these faster. However, some of them take time and there's really no shortcut to it. And others are just bugged or glitched. And so you have to end up doing it 500 times for it to work. But I will not quit until we reach 100% completion. Up next is unblockable. On three plays, create a sack or tackle for loss after a pass rush move win using a different rush move. And those frustrations started early on just our second achievement. This one took me forever. I don't know about you. I never play as a defensive line. I have no idea what I'm doing. I had to look up tutorials for how to do pass rush moves. There are five different pass rush moves we can do. Speed rush, bull rush, club, rip, and spin. So for the next way too long, we spent trying this. What I didn't realize is that you need to do it with the same player. After failing miserably in the same game that we got our primetime achievement, I finally backed out and decided to use Cleo Mack, who's a much faster pass rusher, hoping this gives us the ability to get to the quarterback. We'll go with a bull rush first. Just down on the right stick there. We end up getting the sack. This time, let's just try a speed rush. Speed rush, we get around. We go ahead and sack Matt Ryan there. This time, we're going to try a rip rush. There's the rip. There's the success. Get there, Mack. We get there. That should be the achievement. Maybe we didn't get the pass rush win. There it is! Rare achievement unlocked. Our next achievement is throwing dots. Throw a passing touchdown using the low throw mechanic. All I need to do is put Edwards here on an out route, and we should have an easy low touchdown to Richard. Yep, low pass. Using the left trigger for the touchdown. There it is. Another 40 gamer score throwing dots. Win three presses in a single game with the same cornerback. There's one press. I think I won that press. I know that that was a press. There we go. We got the achievement, baby. Only 0.43% of gamers unlocked this. And your boy is in that percentage. Create a league from a Play Now Live game. This one was easy. I just selected the Super Bowl from the Play Now Live screen. Ran one play, sim to the end, and then it gave me a prompt that let me continue it into a full franchise mode, unlocking that achievement. We're five of 19 achievements done. 200 out of 1,000 gamer score on our way to completing our challenge today. But from here, the achievements are only going to get a lot harder, a lot longer and much more involved relocate a team and when selecting our team here we actually want to select a team one of the worst satisfactory ratings stadiums in the league the tennessee titans now we're going to go down to change role and instead of coach we actually want to be an owner because this is where we can actually manage things like this and we want to select the relocate option after having to sim through a few weeks we got to choose a new city we got to choose the new name we choose our uniform and we chose our stadium proceeded to sim to the off season and we were greeted with our achievement change of senior only four percent of gamers have relocated Team. Our next achievement is called Roster Reshuffle, which is just to complete a fantasy draft. This is exactly as you'd expect. I created a new league, simmed through the fantasy draft, and we unlocked the achievement. There we go. There's our achievement. Just comes in. Roster Reshuffle. I did try to see who we got on our roster, but EA is EA. Wow. Okay. We lost our connection to the EA servers. Our next achievement is called Pro Bowler. Only 2% have participated in the Pro Bowl during a franchise season. I am not in that 2%. I've never done this before. And little did I know that percentage is so low, probably because it's so glitched out. Okay. I don't know how to sign a defensive course coordinator to the nfc that makes literally no sense i tried switching user teams i tried hiring and firing defensive coordinators for individual teams nothing seemed to fix this bug so i tried not one more time with a different season but two more times with a different season and we finally got it to work oh 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 we got it we just gotta hop in and play one play this is third time to charm all we really need to do is play one play and then sim to the end well looks like the afc to no one surprise beat the absolute piss out of the nfc there we go there's our achievement that beautiful Beautiful sound, rare achievement unlocked. Yeah, but it's because it's glitched and broken, EA, not because it's hard to do. Our next achievement, win a head-to-head -head game in an online league. So for this next one, we're actually downloading a 99 Bears overall team. Are we cheesing this? Absolutely, but what is important is completing all of our objectives. Now, I thought you could do this just by creating an online league and playing a game, but you actually need to play against someone, so you almost need a boosting partner. I ended up hitting up my buddy up in Adam Gaming to help me out here. Adam's in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and hit ready. We're good to go. After overcoming adversity 
and finally defeating Adam. Obviously, I'm just kidding. He let me win because he's a good dude. We backed out to the main menu and unlocked our achievement. There it is. Achievement just comes in. Another one off the list. The next one is to win the Super Bowl in an online league. So within the same league we already had created here, since it's an online league, I simmed straight to the playoffs, straight to the Super Bowl. But I was rewarded with an achievement or two that I was not expecting. Wow. Okay. All we had to do. Wait, wait. MVP. What achievement is this? Did we just get one that we didn't even try? We got two achievements. We got Rookie of the Year and MVP. MVP when MVP with one of your players. That's an achievement I was not expecting to get. And then Rookie of the Year, which is win Rookie of the Year with one of your players. So that's two incidental achievements all from this one sim. That's awesome to get. I think we need to play like one play of the Super Bowl. I'm not 100% sure. Just to be safe, we're going to do that to ensure that we do get the achievement. But I don't think it should be an issue. <laughs> Famous last words. I think I hear it coming right about now. Okay, so we never got bragging rights and I'm a little nervous about that because I don't want to ask my friend to hop on again. In the meantime, Akeem Hicks won MVP and Justin Fields, of course, won Rookie of the Year. But we still have not gotten the bragging rights achievements, so I had to do this all over again. All right, first play, just a simple run play. Look at all that blocking from our 99 overall players. Forgot to change the quarter setting, so this is actually gonna have to sim through an entire game. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and quit out of the game. Please, Pop. Yes! Oh, bragging rights. The achievement has been unlocked. I feel way happier about this than I should. 12 of 19. We're well over halfway on our journey. Next is future of the franchise. Reveal a rookie's X Factor potential. This was pretty easy. Everything online said just to create a Falcons franchise. Sim to the middle of the season and click on Kyle Pitts. That's exactly what I did and I got the achievement. And there's the achievement. Future of the franchise. Our next achievement, Stud Finder. Draft a rookie with a hidden dev trait. This one I started a new league. Sim to the draft. Created a save point so that I could see who gets the number one pick. Reverted back to that save. Drafted the best overall player on the draft board. And he just so happened to have a hidden dev trait. He does have a hidden dev trait. And there goes our achievement, Stud Finder. Next, we have Big Spender. Win a free agent bidding war for a 90 plus overall player. And at the same time, we have Dealmaker, which is re-sign a 90 plus overall player. Pat O'Donnell, the kicker. Sure, offer him for 13 million. He should sign. Yep, there's our achievement. 93 overall, Danny Trevathan. Sure. So we'll make the offer. He should be a pretty happy to sign with that. I don't think anyone's going to top that one. There it is. There's our achievement. Looks like Danny Trevathan accepted his ridiculous offer. We have three achievements left, and all of these are somewhat complex and kind of weird. The first one's Momentum Stealer. User has accomplished the biggest momentum swing possible. 1.93% of gamers have unlocked this. This is a weird one. This honestly might be the most frustrated I have ever been in the history of gaming. What a ridiculous achievement. I went into an exhibition game. As the home team of the Bears, I let the away team of the Texans get a full momentum bar, drove all the way down the field, and was trying to get a pick six. This is what every online forum and tutorial said to do that I could find. The issue is that it is not 100%, but we did get a different achievement along the way, accidentally. Please, Trufant, pick it off. Now I need to try and score a touchdown here. We already got it? Oh, wait, no, that's not Momentum Stealer. It uses a tendency counter on the play that results in a turnover. Uh, I don't think we got it on that one, so we might have to try to do this again. I have no idea what a tendency counter is, but hey, we still need to get Momentum Stealer, though. And after several tries with the Bears and the Texans, I literally don't know what else to do if that didn't work. I gave up and tried to use the Rams, who apparently have a momentum factor for their home field advantage. And after about another 10 to 15 tries of doing this, it finally came through. I've been doing this for what feels like freaking hours, man. What am I doing wrong? Yes! Yes, it worked! Yes! Oh my god! Finally! I How have more than 1% of people done this? This is the most frustrating thing I've ever done, I think, in my entire life. We finally got it. My timer's at 346. 20 more gamer score to go. It's called Under Control. User performs new control juke and spin on a scoring play. We're gonna lob it down the field to Deshaun Jackson. People are saying you can't hold the right trigger. Maybe that works. Under control. Pop. Hello? Yes! Look at that, man. 19 out of 19. 100% completion. But if you like this, I built a Mutt team where I completed challenges to upgrade my team along the way. Click up here. You don't want to miss it.